So I'm always running into these weird ideas people have about kids and living off grid. And people will say things like, oh, I'd love to live off grid and do this, that, and the next thing would be amazing, but I couldn't do that to my kids. Or when people learn that I'm living out in the wilderness with my kids, they say, how could you make that decision for your children? Or they'll say, well, often, and they'll say, <clears throat> well, what about in the future? What if they want to do this, this, and this? And it's not things you wanted them to do, but they want to do it. All right. Let me explain why these, <laughs> these things are ridiculous. First, regardless of where you live, you are making that decision for your children. Whether you live off grid, whether you live in the city, where you live in a sewer, where you live in a spaceship, doesn't matter what you're doing with your life. You are making that decision for your kids because you can't talk to a fetus. And even if you could, they wouldn't know where the, where the good place to live is. Now, even if you had a magical crystal ball, you could end up with a situation where my sister and I wanted to live completely different lifestyles. I moved to the wilderness, she moved to the city. So what are my parents supposed to do? What, live in both places and just move around all the time and have no stability? No. Have a stable home. Move to the place that makes you feel good as a parent that will allow you to be a good parent. Because whether you live in a tiny little cabin in, out in the woods or you live on top of the tallest building in the biggest city in the universe it doesn't matter you have to be a good parent that's what your kids really really need that's what they really want so go to the place that makes you feel good that, that energizes you and gives you the the kind of uh the kind of motivation to be a good a good parent to your kids because if you're if you're living a life that's just sucking the life out of you you're not going to be able to be a good parent so, regardless of where you go, you're, you're, choosing, you're choosing where your kids are going to grow up. So that question makes no sense. All right, <clears throat> the second one was, what if in the future your kids want to do something that you didn't want them to do? Well, this question is ridiculous too, because in my opinion, it's not my job as a parent to control my children's life. I don't decide what they're doing with their life. It's my job to give them the skills and knowledge to open doors, to give them options. And once they have those options, I should have also instilled sufficient wisdom that they can choose a good option for themselves. They can choose a life that works for them. Now, if I've done my job as a parent well, they'll be better equipped to make that choice than I would be anyway. So both of those questions make no sense. So if, if you want to live off grid or you want to do some, something with your life, don't use your kids as an excuse. Whoa, I just checked the video. My pecs are like busting out of the skin. I'm going to go use these things to wrestle some kids. Oh yeah.